Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this first day of May 2013. April, we closed it out with uh, a good amount of rain. To be exact, 6.7 inches of rain total for the month of April at the Bowling Green Warren County Regional Airport. That's the official rain gauge for our area. 434, 4.34 is average for April. So we were 2.36 inches above average for the month. We're at 19.6 inches of precipitation for the year to date. We should be at 16.32, so that puts us three and a quarter inches plus above average, 3.28 to be exact. So as far as precipitation, we are pacing much better this year than we were last year when we eventually went into a drought situation. I've been asked several times about that and You know, does it look like, you know, big hot summer and then drought like last year? Don't really think so. With the patterns, the way they're behaving this time around, much different. Uh, Wetter and cooler. Now, we ended the month of April only about seven-tenths of a degree warmer than average just barely a uh, not even a degree warmer uh so uh it, it's averaging on the cool side and as you'll see in the seven day forecast or as you'll hear uh you know we're going to trend cooler once again this upcoming weekend even though it's derby it's going to be uh, on the cool unsettled side With the numbers, yesterday, 81 was our high temperature. It was a nice day. 74 is where we're supposed to be for this time of the year. So we were uh, well above average on that one by 7 degrees. 47 was our low. 50 is where we're supposed to be. And I didn't really look at the one year ago. I should have because I normally do that. Let me look it up real quick here. Just a few clicks of the uh, old computer, and we'll go into the database here. Look at Bowling Green one year ago, and let's see what we've got. Uh, We had a high of 85 and a low of 60 back in 2012, so there you go. All right, as far as today is concerned, high pressure still in control. We're watching a little system in the Gulf of Mexico that is trying to churn up some rain for parts of uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, central Mississippi. Some of those clouds trying to sneak their way into west Tennessee and far western Kentucky. It's possible we could see a few of those clouds mixing with the sunshine today, but it's overall going to be mostly sunny and warm. High of 82, southeast wind at 6, almost a carbon copy of yesterday's weather except for a few more clouds becoming partly cloudy tonight mild a low of 58 for thursday the second day of may we're going to find ever increasing clouds ahead of our next system coming in some of the clouds coming off of that uh, gulf coast system and then other clouds moving in ahead of our front that will be moving through the plains So we've put in a uh, 20 to 30% chance of some scattered showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm by tomorrow afternoon at the high around 80. The better chance of rain, though, will come on Friday. 50% chance of scattered showers, perhaps a thunderstorm, and a high at a cooler 73 degrees. Now as we... Of course, that's Kentucky Oaks Day. As we move into Derby Day on Saturday, the 4th, May 4th, May the 4th be with you. For all you geeky Star Wars fans like me. Yeah, that was Darth. He just paid us a visit. 50% chance of showers. Just showers, not really thunderstorm activity. I think a lot of the... 
uh, convective stuff will be gone by then. Just general shower activity. But a cooler 62 for Saturday for the Derby. A Sunday continued 40% chance of a shower, 68. We warm back to around 70 for Monday, but a continued 40% chance of showers and then a 20% chance we could see an isolated shower thunderstorm for Tuesday, and we get back to 73 degrees. So a temporary cool down, and then temperatures start to rise back into the 70s for the beginning of next week. All right, that's going to do it for this edition of the podcast. Thank you, and God bless you so much for listening each and every day. Know the weather before it knows you. I'll see you live at 530 on AM Kentucky.